Hello guys, so today I'm tasked with creating an ad spot for Cooler Master for their H500T enclosure. So come along, this should be fun. I just finished building this machine so I have to clear out the space so that I can have the H500P in here instead because I still have to capture some B-roll for the case for the ad spot. So the premise for the shoot is to have some creative freedom as we have with other Cooler Master ads in the past. outside the box thinking. The H500P is not perfect, but it's got some really unique features and that's exactly what we're highlighting in this ad today. And by the way, we have reviewed the case, so make sure to check it out over here to get a full picture on what this thing is capable of. The Masdrop Vast Curved Gaming Monitor is now available measuring at 35 inches with 3440 by 1440p resolution at 100 hertz and FreeSync support with nice stand that can do portrait mode because why not? So join the drop with the link in the description below to get your game on. And so the idea for this shoot is a little bit challenging because I want this whole space behind me cleared because I'm gonna be sitting here with a nice tight lens so that things behind me are a little bit out of focus, but I want everything to be perfectly white. So it looks like I'm in this very pristine studio with the case on the little pedestal behind me. So that's the setup and this is my situation and I gotta clear it out. So it's at times like these that I wish that I had more room because it feels so good to have all this space cleared out because I usually just have it as you, what you just saw. But uh, you know, obviously all these boxes are spilling out outside of the office and just kind of occupying the rest of my house, which is not very nice, but uh, at least I have this room to work with now in the office so I can set up my interview shot. Let's get that done. <laughs> Let's do that now. All right, so the only thing left to do now is bring back the box for the H500P case because I think I might want it in the background on the ad plus. The box is purple, so perhaps I'm trying to create this color and brand recognition so that if you see this uh, color scheme anywhere else, it might make you think about Cooler Master, maybe. So it is six o'clock right now here in the evening, which is uh, not that great in terms of productivity, but I had to wait until the sun was on the other side of the building. So that way I get this nice soft light coming from the window because I'm trying to create that soft, natural, white, pristine studio look inside this space. And I didn't want any exterior light interfering with my lighting situation and white balance here. Because in the morning we get so much light in the studio that it's difficult to achieve that pristine and controlled lighting situation. Unless of course it's like overcast and then it's fine. But today, uh, it's a beautiful day, but uh, in terms of productivity and trying to shoot this thing, uh, yeah, I'm a bit set back. I think that should hold. In case you're wondering, I am shooting the interview portion with the G7. It's again Panasonic and I love that whole system. It's such a fantastic B camera for like 500 bucks on sale. It's a really good deal. And B&H has them uh, on sale every December, which is how I acquired this one. It's such a good uh, secondary camera in case my GH5 or GH4 die or something like that. And I'm shooting this right now on the GH5 along with the rest of the B-roll. But for the interview, let's do it with the G7. Need the chair. Now one tip I can give you in terms of trying to focus if you're doing this by yourself is to always use some sort of object on where you'll be with the eye level. So right now I've set up my shot so that my camera is uh, right there and I pre-focus on the microphone so that when I sit back down and adjust the microphone to be in the proper position away from the, uh, from the shot but a really good distance from my mouth, I know that if I sit like this, I'll be in focus. I don't have to touch the camera anymore just as long as I memorize the uh, sort of my posture for when I'm on camera. Now in terms of lighting, I changed that up a bit because instead of lighting up this whole place in pure white, I decided to use my trusty LED lamp right here, firing into the case, creating that nice shadow on the wall and also highlighting that exterior texture that we don't otherwise see when this whole place is just pure white. 
And so now I just gotta get the interview portion done. So I have my voiceover script ready, but I'm gonna try to be talking to the camera, even though not a lot of the footage will be shown on the final spot, only the audio will be used, but when you're trying to interact with the camera, you're a little bit more natural in how you speak, your intonation and all that so that, you know, it seems less scripted and more like I'm talking to you guys in the ad spot. So hopefully it all turned out well. All right, so the interview portion is complete. I did multiple takes of each sentence so that uh, in case there's some intonation variations, I can piece together the best voiceover so it sounds more natural. All right, so there are two things that I enjoy throughout this entire process. One is obviously the production side of things of clearing out the space and making sure that I can produce something quality in such a confined space. That's always been a challenge for me at Hard Rock Knox because I've used to shoot videos out of my living room and needed to, let's say, flip over my couch so that I can get the shots and you know, it's, uh, it's a good exercise and working with what you got. And number two is the whole idea creation on how do we advertise this product without misleading the audience. If you guys seen my review, there's some criticism that I am open about and the community has been bashing Cooler Master for you know, releasing something that uh, they're not agreeing with or they did not expect. So what we're trying to do instead with this ad is bring up those positives that are truly unique to this case and therefore not really you know, bearing any of the negatives in there anywhere. It's more like talking about why this case is unique instead of bashing it of why it isn't something that people were expecting it to be. So what I gotta do now is mount the GPU vertically so you can actually see how that looks inside the case and not just me mentioning that as a feature. Boom. And so now that this part is shot, I gotta bring all those boxes back with their damn corner so that I can have room in the apartment. Now you guys are probably aware that I am running a Ryzen system and I've decided to give this whole AMD thing a shot with both the CPU and the GPU coming from the red side with the RX 480, the most powerful card that I have from the AMD side of things. And wow, it really sucks for rendering in Adobe Premiere, which is why I'm just gonna pop in my GTX 1070 back in there so that I can get the benefit of better gaming and also much faster performance in rendering. And my third favorite part of this whole process is the editing. When it all comes together, the footage is great. And despite having that little hiccup with the lighting, it's good to evolve it and uh, change it up based on what feels right. So all the footage is on the computer, so it's time to edit. All right, so the edit for this ad spot is finished, but the one thing I normally don't talk about in reviews is the actual disassembly process of like taking out the hardware and like, is it simple, is it difficult? On all master case uh, cases, it's very easy, and this one is no exception. All right, the last piece of the puzzle, time to pack it away. You gotta love me a nice case bag. Oh yeah, I could fit it here. I could totally fit in this bag. And the reason it's so handy is because you just take it and you lower it. Done. And so that concludes this episode of Behind the Dam where you get to uh, see my thinking and my production process. So here's the finished spot, enjoy. So it was kind of a love at first sight, you know? There's really nothing like this exterior. I love the metallic color, the tinted glass panel, the RGB fans at the front. It's basically a see-through case and who doesn't love that? Your graphics card can go vertical, the top is radiator friendly, and the right side is so unique when exposed thanks to these cable covers. So you can show off everything you've got with the H500P by Cooler Master. Check it out in the description below. So let me know what you think of it and if you'd like to see more content like this of like the behind the scenes like raw me doing stuff in the studio or elsewhere let us know in the comments below make sure to subscribe and check out these other behind the scenes episode and we'll see you in the next video gotta find you a spot in the corner man